Hey y'all, this is Joe. And Sophia. Coming to you from the porch again for part two of my video this evening. Uh, the first half I talked about some personal issues, some health stuff. Um, I'm going to talk about some more personal stuff a little bit, um, and then move right on into some ukulele stuff that I like. Um, Sophia's going to help kind of show off some of the stuff here. Um, a lot of odds in that. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and uh, I want to show off this ukulele. This is a uh, Mahalo that I picked up really inexpensively off eBay. And uh, my wife, best wife ever, did some amazing art on the back. It is just super cool. Um, I'm gonna bring this close to the camera here and just kind of show off um, as much of it as I can. And just lots of little kitties. And these guys at the bottom, those four, those are our four. And that is uh, Chester, Tabitha, Zelda, and Moxie. And those are our babies here in the house. And this is just such an amazing, fun piece. Uh, I just had to show it off. So that was a work of art by best wife ever. So that I had to show off first and foremost. And I'm just going to... Picture of best wife ever here. I'm going to kind of stick that right up here. Right there. That'll work. Okay. Hmm? No, it's fine. So, anyways, that I wanted to show off Best Wife Ever's work on the ukulele. Also mention her about six more times in this video, probably just because I love her so much and she's awesome and she is the reason that I'm able to do this and have this hobby and have this channel. Uh, she's been amazingly supportive um, and just encouraging and allowing me to... Um, so, you know, kind of indulge my, my hobby and buy some gear. I, obviously, I like gear. I like having different ukuleles, different sounds. I've got some new strings. I'm going to experiment on a few of these with changing out some strings, get a little bit different sound out of a couple of them. Um, and my wife's just been amazingly encouraging in all of that. And so I just want to, top of the video, thank her, spend a couple minutes uh, just pouring some love out on her because um, she is amazing. And I am very, very blessed to have such an awesome wife who has been with me through all of the illnesses that I talked about in, in the previous video. Um, we've been together 15 years um, or so, and I've been sick for about a little more than 10 of those. So it's uh, she's been she's been through a lot with me, and. Has been amazing. So, anyways, that's the bragging on my wife segment of the video. Now I'm going to talk about some other cool stuff. Um, one thing I want to mention is somebody else who's really important to me. Um, uh, Sophia, obviously, but the person I'm thinking about is not here with us anymore. But this workbench that I sit in front of when I do my videos um, used to belong to my grandfather. And uh, my grandfather was an amazing kind, talented, creative, smart, funny, soft-spoken man, and I miss him dearly. He, uh, he passed away last year, and it's been, it's been really rough. Um, I think about Grandpa a lot, I miss him a lot, but having his workbench, um, and now having it part of my my uh, my new hobby, the ukulele, the channel. This is where I sit out and do my lessons a lot of times, where I do all my videos from. Um, and it's nice just to feel a little connection to Grandpa while I do that. And uh, I've got a, from his funeral card here, I've got Grandpa's photo. And uh, I just want to show him off, because he was an amazing man. And... Uh, just want to mention him. So, uh, that was a couple things I want to mention there. Moving on to uh, more uh, things rather than people, I guess. This is a this is lotion I mentioned I think in one of, in the earlier video. Um, 
it's a CBD lotion from a company called Lazarus Naturals. Um, I've been using this a lot on my hands lately. It's a uh, Portland rose scent, very nice um, natural mild rose scent. Um, I really like it. It's got a high CBD level, 1,000 milligrams uh, in, the, in the whole uh, tube, which is 50 milligrams per uh, teaspoon. It's high quality CBD. It's really, really good for inflammation, aches and pains in the hands and after playing. So typically um, when I play a little bit before bed, I'll put this on right before I go to bed and it really does help. So I want to mention that. It's been great to me. Um, the other thing I want to mention was love this ukulele, but that's aside from the point. <laughs> These groovy little stands. I picked up a couple, so if you don't hold those. Um, I picked up a couple of those off of Amazon. I think I paid around ten or eleven dollars for two of them. They're not super duper high quality material, but they do the job well for about five bucks a piece. Um, I will put a link in the description of this video to that product as well as the uh, Lazarus Naturals lotion. Um, also, the uh, hooks that I have, my ukulele's hanging on, these actually don't have the bases on them. I took the bases off and just bolted them into the wall here that I made. Um, but those are from a brand called Uhuhu. Uh, they were relatively inexpensive, I think around five or six dollars a piece. Um, they have them in two packs, four packs, six packs. Um, so they are really good value for the price. They hold the ukes real well. They um, have like a rubberized uh, coating on them and some rubber washers so they can't slide off forward. Um, in a house with multiple cats, obviously that's a concern. Um, so that was something I wanted to point out. I like those. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, I got a really groovy gig bag. So can you hand me that gig bag off to your left, right, I mean? Yes. I got this super cool pineapple patterned gig bag. Uh, that's from a company called Perry's Leather. I believe they are based out of Canada. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there's the logo for the company. Uh, they make gig bags and straps and other stuff. Um, this one I got on eBay on a big super duper sale. Oh, I'm sorry, not eBay, Amazon rather, on a big super duper sale. So it was like 10 bucks. Can't beat that. Nice thick padding in it little strap to hold the uke in. It is a bit of a thin case, so if you've got like a fat ukulele, big deep bodied one, it might not fit as well. Um, but this one fits just fine. I carry the, um, the Lani Kai in this. And as you can see, it's kind of a squeezy looks here. Try to show it off. Kind of in situ here. It does just barely make that closure. I don't uh, just barely makes that closure. But it doesn't seem to damage, doesn't seem to take it out of tune or anything. Um, I've had it sitting around in the bag, carted around in the bag for a few days. Not a problem. Yeah. It's for ukuleles. Oh yes, when it arrived, um, Sophia asked if it was a ukulele. I said, no, it's for ukuleles. And uh, she debated whether it could be for ukuleles in that case. And I kept insisting it was for ukuleles. And finally, when we opened it up, the pun became apparent. And she had to agree it was for ukuleles. So, that was a couple of uh, ukulele products I wanted to mention. Oops, sorry. Uh, I did pick up a new, couple of new song books, which I'm going to start learning some songs as I get more and more chords under my belt. I've got the Bob Marley songbook and the Is songbook. Love Bob. Love Is. Um, definitely on rotations. I've listened to a lot of uh, Skip Marley lately, too. Um, a lot of talent in that family, my god. Um, love to jam out to. So, those are some things that are putting a lot of value in my life and my playing. The other thing I want to mention, probably um, the biggest thing that's been adding value to my, my playing lately. Um, so, can you hand me the, the iPad? I want to mention the... Um, and I'm, I'm definitely going to link these guys in the bottom two here. Um, the teachers I've been taking my lessons from... The 
teachers I've been taking my lessons from are on a service called Artist Works. Um, it's a couple, uh, Craig and Craig Chi and Sarah Maisel, um, and they are absolutely awesome teachers. Um, the Artist Works service is a little expensive. Um, if you sign up for the year plan, it's around 300 bucks, but it's worth it. It's worth every penny. Um, I actually managed to get a coupon code, so I about 30% off that, so that was a great deal. Um, those coupon codes are floating around. Um, if I can find one, I will provide a link where y'all have Google. You can find it, but definitely worth it. You can, with Artistworks, you can actually send um, videos in, and the teachers, Sarah and Craig, will send videos back to you with feedback on what you sent in. So I've sent a couple videos already. Um, Sarah has been the one sending the feedback on these, um, and her feedback has been great. Uh, the one video she actually pointed out a couple of things that I obviously wasn't aware of, um, and some other things that I was aware of that I was glad that she noticed that I improved on because I was consciously making up to make sure I did. Um, and just super cool in, in the response videos, very kind, very uplifting. Um, you know, the kindness is big for me. You know, anybody can, can attempt to teach a skill, but if you've got somebody like me who's, who's gonna be a slow learner at this, that kindness and that, that patience goes a long way. So I, I wanted to just kind of, it's the best I can show this off, uh, I wanted to mention Sarah and Craig from Artist Works, um, and they are great. Also, the iPad has been a, a great um, tool for me in my learning too. I've been using that to watch my videos, also edit, I edit the videos that I make on it. So um, it's been really good for that. I use the iPhone to record the videos and the iPad to edit them. So it, it's been, uh, the lessons with Sarah and Craig have been amazing. I, I'm, a, I'm and, and it's at your own pace too. So I'm looking at a couple different videos, going back and forth, working on skills, going back to other skills. I've got to record another video for them to send in um, to them to get some feedback on my chords. I've been working on chord shapes lately. So that's the big one I'm gonna be sending in next. So that's just um, the, the big aids I've been using in playing. You know, this, it's the lessons with Sarah and Craig, the CBD lotion, um, odds and ends off of Amazon, uh, the stands, the clips, the um, mount wall hooks, I guess, the ukulele bag. So odds and ends like that. Um, and then just, obviously, all the ukuleles I've bought. Uh, I have started to develop kind of a favorite. Um, I really, 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 really love playing the Cordoba. It's just got such an amazing feel in my hands. Um, it's the one that I, I seem to have the most... Uh, the most joy from the act of playing. Uh, it's got a wonderful sound too, um, which this isn't going to be a this isn't going to be a playing video. I was going to talk about it a little bit. It's got a wonderful sound, um, and I just I just love playing it. I got such a good deal on it too, and it was it was uh, I can tell the previous owner I had a lot of love for it. Um, so it's a great ukulele. I love it. Um, love playing it, and that's that's kind of the thing, you know. It's I don't know why I needed eight ukuleles, uh, but this is definitely one that of the eight that I really love. I love all of them for different reasons, but this is one that I really enjoy playing the most right now. Now, in a month, I may get better. I may decide that something else feels better in my hands. Uh, and so I'll be glad to have all the other ones that I've got. But as of this moment, oh man, this is such a joy to play. So is the Amahi. I love that. That's probably that's probably my second favorite at the moment. Um, beyond that, I don't think I have any other like like real. Uh, no, I, I love the Camise too. That was the first one I bought. I love the Camise. But I've been trying to play the soprano mostly because I'm trying not to confuse my hands too much as I get the chord structures down. I don't want to keep switching around sizes. I think that the concert might be a little easier for me to play some of the chords on, but I'd rather learn on the soprano and then relearn the e slightly easier chord structures, or uh, chord shapes on the, or the same chord shapes in a slightly easier spacing on the concert. So that's kind of why I've been focusing on the Cordoba and the Amahi. Uh, 
and I'll probably be switching out the strings on a couple of the other ukulele, a couple of other sopranos to get different sounds without changing out the size. So that, that's kind of the state of where I am at my hobby. Um, it's been, like I said, it's been a week without an update before this. I have been practicing, although not as much as I would like. Um, so, next video I make, I'll be doing some playing. Maybe, maybe, if I get a couple of chords a little tighter, um, I might be able to uh, strum something that sounds like part of a song. We'll see. Get to a 10,000 likes and it'll happen.